Hi guys! So here you see my friend here who's helping me with this video. Now he's holding on onto this 3D molecular model of a 1,4-di-substituted cyclohexane. Now we are trying to teach you how to draw the Newman projection of this molecule. As you notice that this yellow ball here represents the chlorine atom. The Br, this bromine, is being represented by this green atom. Now, because we are looking at a Newman projection, and we know that we have to look through the carbon carbon bond, looking through it. So Newman projection, right? So what you see in this diagram is only four carbon. One, two, three, four. Let me show it to you together. Uh, one, two, and three, and four. The two at the back are hidden, all right? So I hope you can see that this translates to the drawing. Chlorine, which is on the equatorial position because it points to the side, and the bromine, they are also equatorial position because it points to the side, side way down. And since these two is up and down, they are trans to each other. So what if we turn the molecule bit by bit, how would the drawing look like? Okay. Good. So again, you need to look through the carbon-carbon bond, which means we need to tilt it. You see, now we look through this carbon-carbon bond. And you see only four atoms here. Now we notice that the front carbon is a V-shape at the front here. So let's redraw the diagram. Again, for Newman projection of a cyclohexane. <clears throat> First up, we need to draw two circles. Now in this case, the front carbon has a V, so from the middle, the two dots, all right, we do it this way. Okay? And the axial position and the last equatorial position, we have this template, and now at the back, we fill it with this gap this way down. And the extra position for the carbon at the back. There shouldn't be any protrusion here, like this. So let's fill in the atoms. The chlorine right now is pointing sideways again, but at the front carbon, this. So Cl is right here, and where's the Br? Br is at the back carbon that's hidden, so on the other side, here, all right? Br. And the rest of them, are still hydrogen. I will use a yellow marker to show where are the equatorial position, pardon, the extra position, and for the equatorial, I will be using the pink marker. So all the rest you can fill with hydrogen. And for the middle part, since this is coming out and the extra position points up, it will point up to the hydrogen. The one that points down will be at the back carbon that you see partially. So I put the H. Okay, so let's turn again. Okay, good. So what happens is now the carbon with the chlorine group points at you, towards you. And let's see, okay, how does the V look like? Alright, I'm translating. So try to see. Right, two circle, put the dot in the middle, and the back carbon has the V. So back carbon V, the front carbon must be bottom V, okay? Bottom V this way. Then we fill up the rest of these bonds. Change marker. Marker change. Right here. This V, okay. Right, now you see the template? Good. Let's put back our chlorine atom. The thing is now it points the bond at you for the carbon here. So how do we depict it? Since it's facing you, we need to use a wedge bond that points at you. And since pointing at you, this is the equatorial position, we will be using the pink marker just for this case. So I see a wedge bond, okay, a wedge bond. Triangle, solid triangle. And then I put CL. I put CL here, okay? Let's make it longer. So it's CL. Now the bromine is over here, 
is at the back carbon, right? And it's pointing towards Ying Qing. So you see, partially hidden, right? At this carbon, it points back. The way we show it, we'll be using the hash lines. So hash lines, BR, and yet it's still at the equatorial position. So the rest of them, we can just fill with hydrogen. Exhale, I'll just draw for you, pointing up. Exhale, down, and to the side, they are all equatorial, they are just hydrogens. Okay, let's do one more turn. One last turn here. Right. So now this chlorine bonded to the carbon is at the back, left back. So the V shape on the top is at the back. Let me draw a template for you once more. Hope now you are getting better. Two round circle, put a dot in the middle, and the V bottom at the front, back. Okay, you can't see that. So draw this first. Draw this template. Okay, and then here, chlorine at the back carbon points up. So it's right here. I will have Cl and bromine. Front carbon pointing down. Okay, so just fill the rest with the hydrogens. Okay, H, H, exhale in yellow, exhale in yellow. Okay, there are two more hydrogens here, but I'm not going to draw them because we are not concerned about this for now. What do you see? In all this drawing, they represent the same molecule, a 1 4 di substituted with a chlorine and a bromine and they are trans. And throughout this drawing, the CL and the BL is always trans. We don't change anything. It's just a matter of perspective. When you rotate this bond here, we see through different carbon-carbon bonds, we get a different picture. But I just hope you understand that this drawing represents the same molecule.